you only own starter ship but really would like to try mining, today I'm gonna show you that you can make money with Rented Prospector. As you might remember from previous guide for starters to ROC, all you need is about 50,000 AOEC. The point of this video is that you don't need to own Prospector to get money to buy Prospector. Also remember that this is simplified guide, but I'm in the process of making complete guide for all kinds of mining. Hand mining, ROC mining, Prospector and mole mining. So let's not waste any more time and keep making first million. On the very first step, we need to head to any refinery deck. I went to her L2, same as previously, we need to rent our money printer from Vantage Rentals. As you can see, Prospector here is a bit more expensive, the prices might vary a little bit. If you have a bit more money, you could consider renting it for 3 days to give yourself more time to earn money. All we need to do now is board our Prospector and head to any moon. I'm picking Aberdeen at Hurston because it's my favorite one. The materials that you can find are highly depending on moon of your choice. You should try it yourself all of them and pick one that suits you best. While we are on the way, we will need to learn a bit of theory behind mining. First, what materials are we looking for? The most valuable one is Quantanium, worth 25,000 AUEC per SCU, once refined, and 10,000 unrefined. In the next category, we have Taronite, Bexalite and Gold, worth 7 to 8,000 AUEC refined and 3,000 unrefined. You should always want to mine these four, because they are really valuable. The next category is really situational, and mining them isn't always worth it. Those materials are Boras, Laronite, Beryl, Hephastonite and Acrisium, worth 2,500 to 3,500 AUEC, refined and about 1,000 unrefined. Mine them only if you're about to get really pure chunk. The last category, the red one, is completely not worth the effort. These are really not valuable for now, so just ignore and collect only if they appear with more expensive materials. In summary, we want to focus on Quantanium, Taronite, Bexalite and Gold. Boras, Laronite, Beryl, Hephastonite and Agrisium only if they can fill your prospector for about 80% of pure material. Once near surface, press V to toggle scanning mode, then long press V to make ping. Look around for signals that appeared and check their signature. The bigger it is, the more rocks in cluster you can find. After 2 minutes we have found our first cluster. Get closer to it and toggle mining mode by pressing M button. Then get closer to rock and keep aiming at it. After few seconds you should see its composition on the right side of your UI. Here you can see its mass, resistance, instability and total SCU composition. I didn't like this one because we wouldn't be able to fill Prospector with it. On the same cluster I have found two rocks with Hephastonite. Doing some maths, let me calculate that I would fill almost whole Prospector with pure material. This is why I decided it's worth getting it. Once you find the rock that you like, press left mouse button to activate laser beam. Then, like in previous guides, Adjust laser intensity to keep charge lever at the green zone. Be careful to not overcharge it, otherwise it might explode and damage or destroy your ship. The rock blew up, now press right mouse button to switch to extraction mode and press left mouse button to start collecting. Remember to scan chunks first to see what you are collecting. While scanning you can see the targeted chunk is highlighted as purple. That means you can collect it immediately. If it's yellow, that means you need to fracture it one more time. Here you can see that the first chunk contains pure 3 SCU of Hephaestonite. It's really good. 
Just keep scanning and collect purest chunks. This rock gives us 7 SC of Hephaestonite. The second one should fill us completely. The second deposit is really great, but the game says it's impossible to break it. By personal experience I know it's BS and I will be able to break it, but not without a battle. In this case, we need to get extremely close to charge more power towards the rock. I will be almost touching it with the module, but it's the only way to try to fight with it. Usually. Prospector stock mining laser should be able to break deposits up to 10,000 units of mass if they don't have any resistance, which reduces your charge power. After you break some rocks, you'll get used to it. As I said before, we will have to fight it a little bit, so let me speed the video up. Here we go. I felt really uncomfortable to be this close to exploding deposit, so I decided to move back slightly. Here is the example of mentioned chunk highlighted in yellow. We need to break it once more, but it's worth it because it's 11 SC of pure Hephaestonite. Be really careful though, because small chunks can charge really fast and be unpredictable. Do it slowly, because we don't want to waste these resources. I barely put any power to the laser right now. Sometimes you can experience little lag, which make chunk or deposit to struggle with explosion. Just wait a little bit and it will eventually break. And we are completely full with 27 SCU of Hephaestonite. This is actually really good result. All we need to do now is go to any refinery station. This is the list of all refinery stations we can visit at the moment.
here we are at refinery deck. Now follow my path and head towards refinery terminals. There will be two kinds of them. One, to directly sell unrefined ore for about 30% of its price. To make order in refinery, you need to pay a fee. If you don't have enough money to cover that fee, I recommend directly selling your first hole. Simply pick source which is our prospector and you will see how much they will pay you for all those ore. But again, sell it here only if you don't have time to wait or enough money to cover refinery fee. The second terminal is actual refinery. Once again, pick your material location which is our prospector. Then set up work order. Here are all the materials we have gathered. Since iron is not really valuable, I would pick only Hephaestonite and Agrisium as our choice to refine. Then you need to choose processing method. They all differ in cost, speed and yield loss. I mostly prefer Ferron Exchange as it gives most yield, isn't that slow, but costs quite few bucks. In the other hand, Dinic Solventation is much cheaper, but also take much more time to process. I like to choose one of these two, because we won't lose that much yield comparing to other methods. Then all we need to do is to confirm our choice, and then refining will begin. But be sure to choose all the resources you actually want to refine. All other resources that are unchecked here will be vanished. The refinery will work itself, and you don't need to be online for it to work. Now it's time for a second run. The second run was really interesting because it was really fast and also profitable. Here I'm collecting Terranite, which is one of most expensive materials, plus the deposit is small enough that I can directly collect it without fracturing. Then I found this beautiful deposit with some Bexalite. You can see that I'm being picky here, but I don't think it's worth collecting chunks with really low concentration of high valuable ore. We would fill Prospector too fast with trash and reduce our profits. I have scanned everything earlier, so I knew that there is also this nice deposit containing gold. I highly recommend scanning all deposits in cluster before you start your work, because it will make it easier to plan whole mining operation. Once filled, once again head back to refinery and repeat. Here we are at our third run. You can see that I found quite good deposit containing boras, so I decided to pick it up as good filler. Then 
Then we found really precious gem, Guantanium. You can see there is all about 4 SCU of it, but since it's very valuable, we really want to get it. But be careful, Guantanium is only volatile ore. After collecting first piece you have 25 minutes to bring it to refinery, otherwise it will blow up cargo pods and most likely your ship too. On the right side below MFD you can see alarm. If it starts beeping yellow that means Quantanium becomes unstable and it's time to go back to refinery. Also be careful while transporting it. Any collision, especially if you hit your ore bags, might reduce its stability and you might not make it in time. Once we got first quant in bags, you can see the timer I mentioned earlier. If you have some spare space, try to gather some filler materials around from small deposits. Then go to refinery ASAP. The quantanium timer stops once you store your ship. Here you can see I did 6 runs in total. They took me about 2.5 hours of playtime, but meanwhile I had to make a little break. So this is why timers are so inconsistent. All we can do now is to wait for refinery to do its job, or keep mining as much as we want. The more we mine, the more profits we'll make within that one rental day. Here you can see all the processes we have ordered. They are not queued up, they all complete independently at the same time. I also don't think that there is any limit of processes you can order. I have managed to have 25 of them in total and I still was able to order more. Now it's the next day and we need to somehow sell our refined ore. You need transport ship with at least 32 SU capacity. If you don't have one, you can rent MISC Freelancer at any cargo deck for 33,000 AUEC for one day. You don't need to rent it immediately, only if you decide it's a day to sell refined ore. And if you own ship with decent cargo hold, just skip these steps. Here in cargo deck, you can also buy some useful stuff for future industrial operations. Now, let's head back to refinery. All six work orders are completed and now we need to load our cargo ship. You need to choose storage option, which will be your ship stored in this station. Since I own cargo ship, I have picked Crusader M2. But you can see, rented freelancer is also there. You need to be careful to not exceed maximum capacity of your ship. Usually, freelancer will let you pack two or three orders. It might require you to make few runs to sell ore, but believe me, it's worth it. Now, I'm simply packing all refined ore. You can also end this process earlier, but you will gain only the part of the ore refinery was able to process. So, I don't recommend this. This is how much I got within two and a half hours. All we have left to do is to sell it at any major city trade terminal. I'm going to Lorville at Hurston, because it's closest to me. If you don't know how to get there, just follow my path. I'm always missing that train. Here, I would like to thank you for all the feedback you gave me on last video. I'm still trying to improve quality of my videos, but I never had idea it's so difficult. 
If you liked it or disliked it, just let me know that I could improve next time. Or tell me what kind of content you'd like me to cover in future. It is really helpful to me. And once again, thank you. Okay, let's get back to business and sell our stuff. And here we are at commodity shop where we will sell everything. As you can see, it didn't seem to be much, but the value of this ore is really good. Taranite itself returned all costs we had to rent prospector and freelancer. Time for summary. After selling everything, we made 530,000 AUEC total, minus 85,000 of rental costs, which results in about 450,000 AUEC of profits, which means it's almost 200,000 AUEC per hour. I think it's a really good score for people who begin their journey with mining, and they just would like to check if it works. I hope you like it. If possible, please leave like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, if you didn't, take a look at my other guides for starters. I'm trying to cover as many different gameplay loops that are available for any ship owners. Once again, thank you and see you around.